Hi! In this video, you learn how to affect only the locations of objects and not the objects themselves in transformations. I'll be using the 2.81 version of Blender. Now, transformations like grabbing, rotating, and scaling are something you do on a daily basis. But what if we only want to affect the locations of objects, not the objects themselves? Let's first create some objects, for example, by duplicating the default cube a couple of times. So let me have three duplicates of the cube. Fine. And now select all three cubes. So you have to hold down shift, select them one by one, and grab them as you always do. So G. Fine. Works as expected. Escape. Then rotate them. So R, and now they are rotating. Finally, let's scale them, S, they scale. Fine, escape. So as you can see, we are now affecting the objects. We grab the objects, we rotate the objects, and we scale the objects. And now, with the objects still selected, press N, to open this side panel, transform options, and here we have locations. So let's check it. Fine. Now, if we grab the objects, G, it works actually the same. The locations are grabbed, but this is the same as grabbing the object themselves. But now let's try out scaling and rotating. Let's start with rotating. So now, press R to rotate. And now, as you can see, the objects are not rotated. Only their locations are. Fine. Escape. How about scaling? Press S. If you now try to scale the objects, you actually only scale the locations so they become more and more distant apart. You're not scaling the objects, you're just scaling the locations. Fine, escape. Now, if you want to go back to the normal behavior, you just have to uncheck locations here. And now they behave like before. Rotating, scaling, fine. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.